Here's my son. He stayed up late down to the pier squidding, and uh, he's going to show you how to clean them. There's a bucket of squid, and here's the squid. A little vinegar water to wash them off in. All right, first, you take your scissors, and right below the eyeballs, you just cut the tentacles off, and I'll just set this right here. So, oh. And then you take the top of the tentacles, and you squeeze it really hard, and then a, this round thing will come out, and it's called a beak. And then you will just wash it off and it's clean to eat. And then now you have this and it saws the eyeballs and stuff. Then you take your scissors and there'll be a little thing where you can put your scissors in. And you just cut it all the way to the top. Oh. Then there will probably be a bunch of ink in it and stuff. But and a bunch of guts, but you grab the head and then you just pull up and then wash it off. And there will be something hard in there and it's called the spine. And it looks like this. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really clear. And then you gotta get all the rest of the stuff off just to make sure there's no guts left on it. And then when it looks like this, you can eat, fry it and eat it. Yep. Or you take the big ones and you can stuff, stuff them. them. Sausage and shrimp and bake them. And you also can uh, clean them without cutting them, the body down, uh, filleting it open up with the scissors. You can just uh, do it when it's just uh, tube shaped. It's a little bit harder to clean them when they're small. You need to get that spine and the guts out. And we use a little bit of vinegar in the water. It takes the slime and the skin and stuff off of them a lot better. And then plus if you fry them, you don't get that fried up fish smell in the kitchen. It reduces that. I do that when I do some fish too. Anyways, that's squid. That's calamari. That's Derek, the Squid Slayer, and that's a wrap.